Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, as more and more people are getting ready to cruise, I realize there's a lot of first-time cruisers out there again, and uh, they haven't had a chance to experience uh, some things you're supposed to do and things you're not supposed to do on a cruise. So I'm going to give you uh, a bunch of items. There's going to be more than 10 items that you really have to pay attention to in your cabin and things you should not bring and things you should not use. Okay, number one, when you're going on board, surge protectors. Do not bring a surge protector power bar on to the cruise. Sometimes it'll get confiscated or your stateroom attendant will take it because they do not allow surge protectors on the cruise ships. And the reason for that is they can catch fire. That's right. And fire is the worst thing on a cruise ship. So they don't want that on. Number two, right along with the, the fire on board, anything with an open flame aroma candles, uh, you know, fireplace lighters, things like that. They don't want anything with an open flame, a hot plate at all. This goes in with number three. They don't want you to bring an iron on board, a hot plate, anything that heats up like that. Most cruise lines now will allow you to bring a hairdryer on board and a curling iron, but that's about the extent of it. They don't want you to bring anything that can heat up and possibly catch fire on a cruise. And yeah, I, I don't want to have a fire on a cruise neither. So already we're up to three things and we just got started. Another fun one is the bathroom. You know that funny thing we do our business in in the bathrooms? Well, that's meant for only that one type of paper. It's not meant for anything else. It's not meant to flush your lint down. It's not meant to throw waste in it. It's not meant to throw sanitary products in. It's not made for paper towel. It's not made for hand wipes. And what happens is when people do that and it gets sucked into the the pipes of the cruise ships, it can cause backups and blockages. And you do not want to be on a cruise where the pipes in the bathrooms get blocked up because it will be a very memorable, smelly cruise. Number five is, you know when you like to, you know, you're showering at home, you step out of the shower, and uh, yeah, it's a little different on a cruise ship. Uh, you got to be very careful. You have to be careful that you don't step out of the shower and lo and behold, the balcony's open and there's the window cleaner out there cleaning off your balcony and you're standing there in your birthday suit. <laughs> it happens an awful lot of time. That also being said, those curtains on the blinds, when you go to bed at night, close those blinds. Because what happens is a lot of times you're going to arrive in port in the morning. You may still be asleep. And if you're not, you, you jump out of bed and you're standing there and you're, you could be beside another ship that can look directly into your stateroom. You could have workers out there working that they can see in. All kinds of things that can happen that have caught a lot of people completely off guard and you don't want that to happen. Another thing not to do, I know it's tempting. You're on, a, you're on your honeymoon, you're on a romantic getaway with your loved one and it's dark out, you're romantic, you've had a few drinks, you've had a great dinner and you're out in the ocean on the balcony and you get a little frisky. Great. Remember, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> there's cameras everywhere on the outside of the ship and chances are there's somebody up in a security booth watching you in night vision cameras and so if you're gonna get frisky head back into the stateroom and close it up unless of course you don't want you want to end up on one of those websites <laughs> <sighs> while we're on the subject of balconies even on your balcony one thing you're not allowed to do smoking no smoking on your balcony for the vast majority of cruise lines. There's one out there, I'm not even going to mention it, that you can smoke on your balcony. You can't smoke, you can't vape, you can't light up a blunt, you can't do any of that stuff. Smoking is prohibited in your cabin. There are designated smoking areas on ships and you must go. And, and it's literally 
a kicking off offense. If somebody complains or you're caught or something happens, you know, you flick the butt off the balcony and it goes down onto somebody else below you, expect to be escorted off at the next port. Another thing that people sometimes who are new to cruising don't realize, those robes and slippers are not free. <laughs> hey, look, we have a robe and some slippers in our cabin. Great. Let's pack them with us when we go. They're not free. They're expensive and you will be charged. They know that you took them with you. And if they're missing in the cabin when the, you get off the ship and the steward's checking the room, you're going to see an awful expensive price added to the expense on your credit card. And I've seen people walk out. I've been talking to people in airports and said, those were some lovely robes. I, I, I can't believe they gave us robes. And I said, what do you mean they gave you robes? They didn't give you robes. They charge you for robes. Speaking of being extra charged, that mini bar, even if you have the ultimate, ultimate drinking package where everything's included, the big expensive drinks and everything, it, it chances are that mini bar is not included unless it's a promotional order that you got for booking a certain type of cabin. Like if you book a royal suite, you may have mini bar included in your price. But the average balcony, the average inside stateroom, the average mini suite does not include your mini bar and that those are the little bottles of liquor like this you know when you get that drink downstairs and it's like a nine dollar drink or those little ones can be even more expensive another thing you should always remember is to put all your really important valuables like your passport your wallet your credit cards in the ship in your stateroom put them in there and forget about them you can go in and get them when you take off to do your a shore excursion, you don't need to take all your credit cards with you. Take one credit card and some cash with you. You don't need to take every piece of ID with you and all your stuff. Because if it ever goes missing, you're missing everything. Where I always have one card in my safe, one card in my wallet. Ex things like that. So you're always, uh, if one goes missing, you have another one as a backup. And also, on the very last day when you're checking out and everything, Open that safe and make sure nothing is left behind. It's very easy for a credit card to slip out. It's very easy for a $20 bill to have fallen to the back of the safe and you don't notice it in the darkness of the safe in the closet. So check that safe before you leave it so you don't leave anything really important behind. Another huge one out there is be respectful of other passengers. Don't be yelling and screaming in your stateroom. The walls are paper thin. You can hear pretty much everybody in the next statement above a normal talking voice. If we're talking like this, no problem. But if you start yelling at somebody and who, somebody's in the bathroom and you're out in the balcony and you're yelling to them at the top of their lungs, let's go to the buffet, everybody! They're gonna hear it next door. When you're walking down the hallways, don't be loud and boisterous and, you know, uh, at two o'clock in the morning when you're coming back from your bar. And above all else, when you're going through a nice quiet area out there, like Glacier Bay, Alaska, don't play music on your balcony like this. <laughs> I still can't believe how rude and ignorant those people were beside me in that cabin who thought they were the only people in the world and nobody else mattered. It's all about them. No respect for other people and have respect for other people. You don't want your vacation ruined. Don't ruin another person's vacation. Now quickly before I get into the second half of the video, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you want to keep up to date with all the cruise news, the cruise vlogs, the cruise tips, the cruise tricks, and all things cruising, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It just tells YouTube people are watching the video and they might share it to more people. It really helps the channel out and I would really, really appreciate it. Without saying, but I have to say it, do not 
get on top of your balcony railing. Do not stand on the railing. Do not climb from one balcony to the other. Do not hang over the railing. Do not sit on the top of the railing for a photo. All these things, in fact, the vast majority of people who fall overboard do it on purpose or doing something stupid like that, like posing for a picture hanging over the edge of a cruise ship. Look at me. There's no chance I could ever possibly fall. And then they fall. So yeah, please don't do anything foolish like that. I'd rather you come back safe and sound than being the next story on the channel about somebody going overboard. And while I'm on the subject of balconies, another thing a lot of people don't realize, especially if you've never been on a cruise before, if you're in a balcony cabin and you open, have the balcony doors open, and then somebody at the front door of your cabin, like your room steward knocks and you walk over and you go to open that door, it can create a huge suction wind tunnel in that stateroom. So hard that that front door can fly open or fly closed. And people have had their shoulders dislocated, their arms and hands broken and caught in the doors and their face hit when they've done that. So be very, very careful. It's not a good idea to ever leave your stateroom balcony door open if you're not in the cabin. First of all, if the room steward comes in to clean your room, bam, that can happen to them. And also, uh, just try and remember, I know sometimes it's hard, but uh, if you're in the stateroom, it's a sea day or you're in a port, especially sea days, and that balcony is open, don't open that front door. Or if you do, open it very, very cautiously with both hands because it can hurt. Take it from me, <laughs> I had it happen to me. Well, there you go. There's about 13 or 14 little things to do, not to do and do in your cabin. I hope that it helps you out a little bit, especially if you've never been on a cruise before. Did you know that that wind tunnel effect happens? Did you know there's a big suction? Can you hurt yourself? Did you think, hey, uh, that mini bar stuff is free? <laughs> well, some people do. And I hope if you did, this helps clarify things a little bit for you. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.